welcome dear 10th standard students in this video class i am going to teach chapter trigonometric topic angle of diffraction sums from the example 6.26 and 6.27 and also sums from the exercise 6.3 sum number 1 2 3 problems involving angle of depression angle of depression and angle of elevation are equal because they are alternative angle l1 and l2 are parallel lines ab is the transversal that ab is passes through l1 and l2 so it is called as ab is transversal in a transversal the alternative angles are equal so angle of depression is equal to angle of elevation example number 6.26 a player sitting on the top of a tower of height 20 meter observe the angle of depression of the ball laying on the ground as 60 degree find the distance between the foot of the tower and the ball using root 3 is 1.732 bc is the height of the tower a player is sitting the top of the tower he view a ball on the ground at an angle of depression 60 degree here ab and cx are parallel lines so ab ac as transversal so angle xca and cab are equal let bc be the height of the tower and a be the position of the ball laying on the ground bc is height of the tower is 20 meter angle xca is 60 degree that is equal to angle cab alternative angle let ab is distance between the ball and the tower that is taken as x meter to find the distance between the ball and the tower in a right angle triangle abc tan 60 degree is equal to opposite bc by adjacent ab the value of tan 60 is root 3 is equal to bc is given that is height of the tower 20 by ab is x x is equal to 20 by root 3 x is equal to 20 by root 3 rationalize the denominator multiply and divided by root 3 20 into root 3 20 root 3 root 3 into root 3 3 x is equal to 20 root 3 by 3 x is equal to 20 into 1.732 root 3 value is 1.732 20 into 1.732 we get 34.64 divided by 3 we get 11.55 meter x is 11.55 meter hence the distance between the foot of the tower and the ball is 11.55 meter example number 6.27 a horizontal distance between two building is 140 meter the angle of depression of the top of the first building when seen from the top of the second building is 30 degree if the height of the first building is 60 meter find the height of the second building using root 3 is 1.732 in the sum two buildings are given the distance between the two building is 140 meter the top of the first building is seen from the top of the second building at an angle of depression 30 degree the height of the first building is 60 meter to find the height of the second building ab is the 
height of the first building is 60 meter cd is the height of the second building that is h from the top of the second building to view the top of the first building at the angle of depression 30 degree so angle xca is 30 degree here xc is parallel to am ac is the transverse alternative angles are equal so angle cam is 30 degree the distance between the two building is 140 meter bd is 140 am and bd are parallel and equal so am also 140 meter ab is parallel to md both are 60 meter The height of the first building AB is 60 meter. AB is equal to MD is 60 meter. Let the height of the second building CD is H. The distance between the two buildings is 140. BD is 140 meter. That is equal to AM. Angle XCA is equal to angle CAM is equal to 30 degree. In triangle AMC, tan 30 is equal to opposite side CM by AM. Tan 30 degree is equal to CM by AM. Tan 30 degree is 1 by root 3 is equal to CM by AM is 140. CM is equal to 140 by root 3. CM is equal to 140 by root 3 into root 3 by root 3. Here yeah, the denominator is irrational. So rationalize the denominator, multiply and divide by root 3. We get CM is equal to 140 root 3 by 3. Root 3 into root 3, 3. CM is equal to 140 into the value of root 3 is 1.732 by 3. 140 is divided by 3, we get 46.67 into 1.732, we get 80.83, CM is 80.83. Height of the second building, CD, CD is CM plus MD, CM is 80.83 plus MD is 60, 80.83 plus 60 is 140.83 meter CD is 140.83 meter height of the second building is 140.83 meter exercise 6.3 sum number 1 from the top of a rock 50 root 3 meter height the angle of depression of a car on the ground is observed to be 30 degree find the distance of the car from the rock here yeah. in the sum a rock is given its height is 50 root 3 meter from the top of the rock to observe a car on the ground at an angle of depression 30 degree find the distance between the car and the rock bc is the height of the rock that is 50 root 3 meter. A is the point. The core is that. A, B is distance between the rock and the core. X, C, A is angle 30 degree. That is the angle of depression is 30 degree. X, C and A, B are parallel lines. A, C is the transverse so alternative angles are equal c a b is 30 degree let b c be the height of the rock b c is 50 root 3 meter x c a is equal to c a b is 30 degree alternative angles are equal let a b be the distance between the car and the rock in the right angled triangle a b c tan 30 degree is equal to bc opposite side by ab adjacent side 
tan 30 1 by root 3 is equal to BC is 50 root 3 by AB. AB is equal to 50 root 3 into root 3. Root 3 into root 3, we get 3. 50 into 3, AB is 150. Therefore, the distance of the car from the rock is 150 meter. Exercise 6.3, second sum. The horizontal distance between two buildings is 70 meter. The angle of depression of the top of the first building when seen the top of the second building is 45 degree. If the height of the second building is 120 meter, find the height of the first building. In the sum, two buildings are given. The distance between the two buildings is 70 meter. The top of the first building when seen from the top of the second building at an angle of depression, 35 degree. The height of the second building is 120 meter. Find the height of the first building. AB is the height of the first building. Taken as X. CD is the height of the second building, 120 meter. From the second building, the top of the second building, you see in the top of the first building. Make an angle of depression 45 degree. So XDA is 45 degree. Here XD and AE are parallel. So AD is transversal. Alternative angles are equal. So angle DAE is 45 degree. The distance between the two buildings is 70 meter. So here BC is equal. BC is parallel to AE and also equal in length. So AE is 70 meter. AB and EC are equal in height. So E C also X. D E is D C minus E C. D C is 120. E C is X. 120 minus X. Let A B be the height of the building is X. C D is the height of the second building 120 meter. BC is the distance between the two buildings, 70 meter. Angle XDA is 45 degree is equal to angle DAE. AB is parallel to EC. AB is equal to EC is equal to X. AE is parallel to BC. So AE is equal to BC is equal to 70 meter. DE is equal to CD minus EC. DE is equal to CD is 120. EX is X. 120 minus X. In triangle AED, tan 45 degree is equal to ED is opposite side by AE adjacent side. Tan 45 1 is equal to ED is 120 minus X by AE is 70. 70 is equal to 120 minus x. x is equal to 120 minus 70. x is equal to 50. Therefore, the height of the first building is 50 meter. Exercise 6.3 third sum. From the top of the tower 60 meter I, the angle of depression of the top and bottom of vertical lamp post are observed to be 38 degree and 60 degree respectively. Find the height of the lamp post using tan 38 degree is equal to 0 0.7813 and root 3 is equal to 1.732. In this sum, a tower and the lamp post are given. The height of the tower is 60 meter. From the top of the tower, to observe the top and bottom of the lamp post at the angle of 38 degree and 60 degree respectively. To find the height of the lamp post, AB is the height of the tower 60 meter, CD is the height of the lamp post that is X. Distance between the lamp post and the tower is 
Y. B C is Y. Take it. From the top of the tower to view top of the lamp post at an angle of depression 30 degree. So angle X A D is 30 degree. Here A X is parallel to E D. So A D is the transversal. Angle A D E is 30 degree. Alternative angles are equal. And from the top of the tower to view the bottom of the lamp post at the angle of depression 60 degree. A X C is 60 degree. Here A X is parallel to B C. A C is the transversal. So angle A C B is 60 degree. Alternative angles are equal. Here let the height of the tower is 60 meter. AB is 60 meter. Let CD be the height of the lamp post is X. CD is X meter. BC is the distance between two tower under the lamp post. BC is Y meter. Angle XAD is equal to 38 degree is equal to angle ADE. Angle XAC is 60 degree is equal to angle ACB. DC is parallel to BE. So both are equivalent. DC is equal to B is equal to X. BC is parallel to ED and also equal. So BC is parallel to ED. BC is equal to ED is equal to Y. AE AE is AB minus EB that is 60 minus X. AE is AB minus EB 60 minus X. In triangle ABC tan 60 degree is equal to AB by BC. Tan 60 degree is root 3 is equal to AB is 60. BC is Y. Y is equal to 60 by root 3. Yeah, the denominator is rational. Rationalize the denominator. When multiply, by, multiply and divide by root 3, y is equal to 60 by root 3 into root 3 by root 3. y is equal to 60 root 3 by root 3 into root 3, 3. y is equal to 20 root 3 meter. In triangle AED, tan 38 degree is equal to AE by ED. Tan 38 is given. Tan 38 degree is 0 0.7. 818 is equal to AE is 60 minus X by ED is Y. 0 0.7818 is equal to 60 minus X by Y is 20 root 3. 0 0.7818 into 20 root 3 is equal to 60 minus X. 0 0.7818 into 20 into root 3 is 1.732 is equal to 60 minus X. 20 into 1.732, 34.64, 0 0.7818 into 34.64 is equal to 60 minus x. 0 0.7818 into 34.64, we get 27.08 is equal to 60 minus x. x is equal to 60 minus 27.08, x is equal to 32.92. Therefore, the light of the lamp force is 38.92 meter